What's up guys, this is Sin and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 16 Miami Dolphins franchise. And today, ladies and gentlemen, the 11-2 Miami Dolphins are on the road in Qualcomm Stadium at San Diego Stadium now, taking on the 7-6 San Diego Superchargers. And if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys uh, see anything throughout, throughout the video that you guys liked or want to point out, then by all means leave comments, of course. And if you know, you're new here and you like what you see and subscribe. And there's also social media links down below called like Twitter. Cause I'm on it. I'm on it. If you tweet me, I'm probably going to respond to you uh, unless like I'm really busy. And uh, there's a little news uh, regarding my status. I know I haven't posted a video since like, Oh God, Saturday. It's been a while, about four days. I wouldn't say it's been a long time. I've taken longer breaks than that, but um, basically Rundown is been a lot going on. I know there was my birthday on on Saturday, and I haven't posted since. Um, school has been a main issue. Um, I'm trying to get my degree in information technology, which is basically like being a computer geek. Uh, but um, I'm trying to get all the dust settled. Still, I really kind of felt stressed out. Wanted to take away the YouTube aspect of it for a few minutes. Because, you know, my degree is very really important to me. And I, I know I don't do this for a living. And I want to one day, maybe. But I'm not focused on it. It's not my number one priority. So, <laughs> I love YouTube to death. But this is not my number one priority. Um, so, as it stands right now, uh, you know, we, we got to just bear with me sometimes. I may take a couple days off just to focus on school and all that stuff. So I'm not going away. I would never go away uh, because that would <laughs> defeat the whole purpose of everything that I've ever done on YouTube. Uh, I love this. This is the number one hobby that I love doing. So um, like I said, be patient with me and I will be patient with you guys. So um, as you can see, we're fighting for our second place spot with a few other teams. We have the Patriots, of course, still in contention. We have the Titans and the Colts right behind us as well. And next week, we take on the Colts. So that'll be interesting. But you see, we, they only have one injury, and it doesn't really matter for the Chargers. Uh, but the Chargers are pretty much at full strength. It should be a good game today. It's on the road versus a team that could possibly sneak into the playoffs. If you guys do enjoy, of course, do what I said at the beginning of the video. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the game. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offense on the gridiron today. It's Rivers' Chargers going up against Penny Hill Dolphins. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 15 matchup. Dolphins, Chargers coming up here on EA Sports. We welcome you to San Diego, California for today's game. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. I think these teams, both of them, Jim, when they talked to us, they were not going to let the holiday a spirit or the distraction of the holiday get in the way of preparing and being ready to play today. I think both are ready to put on a good show. And Jay Feely looks ready to get this one underway. Parker's the deep back for the opening kick. And we are underway here in San Diego Stadium as we have a third down and six here for the Miami Dolphins here. Here is Ryan Tannehill steps back looking left side caught by Kenny Stills. And he gets the first down. The San Diego Chargers have a very good deep. To my surprise that Manti Teo is actually really good in this game. Uh, Eric Weddle, probably one of the best safeties in the game. And they have a decent secondary. I mean, um, their D-line, yeah, it's a little bit eh. Like, eh. Eh. But they're all right. I mean, they do they do their job. But you see Jay Ajayi taking that one for a big carry, making everybody just say, he's like, get the hell out of my way, everybody. I'm trying to get this first down. So we're just trying to come out with a solid win, of course. 
uh, trying to spruce our stand. He's trying to keep that number two spot. But you see Eric Weddle on a third down in inches or third down in one makes a stop. So it's fourth and in inches. We decide to go for it because our run game has been really good. But look at this play. Jay Ajayi gets the handoff. Looks like he has the first down, but he keeps running, and he's running backwards this time. So as soon as he gets the first down, he runs the other way, and Eric Weddle just says, nope, uh, now that you're behind the line, you can stay there. So here comes Phillip Rivers. Very good quarterback. Drafted number two overall by the New York Giants and then traded to the San Diego Chargers in trade for Eli Manning. Uh, obviously, Phillip, Phillip Rivers has not won a Super Bowl ring, uh, but Eli has. But I feel like this, though, um, Phillip Rivers has been kind of shorthanded for most of his career, um, given the fact that he hasn't really had any big-name receivers on his team. He has a lot of above-average receivers, which is actually a good thing, but he needs that one big-time receiver. He's had Antonio Gates throughout his most of his career, actually throughout all of his career, I do believe. He's had LaDainian Tomlinson. He's had seasons where, you know, the Chargers looked like they were going to go to the Super Bowl. But they could just never get over that hump. But now they have um, Melvin Gordon, Danny Woodhead on the team. Uh, they still have Antonio Gates. They still have uh, you know a solid receiving core. And you know I think that the Chargers are just maybe a couple of players away. And obviously we need Peyton Manning to retire in order for the Chargers to be good. Um, but I do feel like the Chargers are just you know a solid team that just needs a couple of extra players they need a, they need some work on the defensive side as well as well as well as the offensive side but you know just a couple of pieces and then they're good um but they do get on the board first with Danny Woodhead it's seven nothing and I'll tell you what guys this run defense that we have has been good all year it's been really good all year but there's always that one game where we just have a complete meltdown and I hate spoiling it for you but today's that game so if you guys came to see good run defense by the Miami Dolphins. It's not happening today. So you see, uh, here's Phillip Rivers on a screen pass. Here's Melvin Gordon getting that first down, and he's going to get taken down. Phillip Rivers, 4 5, 51 yards. Melvin Gordon doing really good so far. But you see on this play, on a first and 10 from the 46, handoff to Gordon. And look at this. He's going to try. Oh, he gets a guy to miss, and he's gone. No one's catching him. Touchdown, San Diego Chargers. They're up 14 to nothing. Chargers are flying away early. They're trying to blow us out of the water. Melvin Gordon, 54 yards out. There's something about that. So here comes Ryan Tannehill handing it off to Lamar Miller. Gets that first down just barely as he was getting pushed back just a little bit. But he does get the first down nonetheless. So I'm happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Who wouldn't be? Get a first down and keep the drive alive. Especially when we're down 14, we need to get first downs. We see Damian Williams. Getting the handoff, get, taking it down to about the 29. They're going to mark him down to the 30, I think. But it was a pickup of 13, so that's a really good carry from Damian Williams. So second down and five. Here's Tannehill steps back, looking right side. It's caught by the the one and only Jordan Cameron, the best tight end in, in the – I don't know about the NFC. He's obviously got Rob Gronkowski. Um, but I would say he's the second best tight end in the NFC East. He's one of the best in the league. He's definitely good at running routes and stuff like that. I really like his route running ability and his ability to catch the ball, of course, because, you know, you need to catch the ball if you're a tight end, too. But we do get the touchdown right there, but by none other than Jarvis Landry, uh, obviously my favorite receiver. He's got, like, the he's the only receiver on the team that's got over 1,000 yards receiving this year. So, obviously, I've liked him. He's been a big target this year. You see Melvin Gordon once again getting plenty of room to run as the Chargers offensive line is just – making our defensive line look silly. The blocks have been there. The holes have been there. Mel I don't know what's up with Ndamuk and Sue and Cameron Wake, but they need to get their act together. So third down and four here for the Chargers. Single back formation. Three wide receivers on the play. Here's Phillip Rivers. Looks over the middle. It is caught. Touchdown. And now it's 21 to 3. No, no, 21 to 10. So, you know, 21 7. I don't know what I'm doing. I had a brain fart there for a second. I thought we scored a field goal for a second, but you see right here, up oh, Jarvis Landry right there. Touchdown, 21-14. Jarvis Landry, man, he's, he's just good. He's just good. If he doesn't go to the Pro Bowl, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He's just been lights out this year. 92 receiving yards, two touchdowns this game alone. Just been amazing. So now third quarter just beginning. They're going to show us offset eye formation handoff to Melvin Gordon, and he gets bopped, and he fumbles the football. We, the, the Dolphins recover, and that's a way to start off the second half. Very first play, 
uh, Vernon comes up with the fumble recovery. So now third down and seven. At least we could try and get something out of this drive. Even if it's just a field goal, we'll take it. So they look over to the left side. It's Kenny Stills. He's been pretty good, effective all day long. Maybe not be getting touchdowns, but he does get the job done. As he's gotten four catches for 46 yards. So now later on in the drive, it is another third down and 10. And we're going to try and get this one in the end zone from the 10. So pretty much we have to get it in the end zone. It's Yeah, we have a chance at a first down, but it's literally like like two-tenths of a yard to get in the end zone from that point on. So here's Tannehill looking over the middle. It's thrown into the middle of a huge traffic lane as Weddle breaks that one up. And now it's fourth down. So the Dolphins are going to settle for another field goal right here. Uh, to make it 21-17 to 17 as Caleb Sturgis hits that one through the uprights. It's a four-point game. Oh, but there's a flag. Uh, there's a flag. But I don't think this one really matters. It's a defensive uh, penalty. It's r- running into the kicker, I think. So now it's still 21-17. No harm, no foul. I decided to take the points because uh, we already made the kick. So what's the point? We're only moving five yards closer um, just to make the same kick again. Uh, so we do make the stop there on third down. So we do get a chance to take the lead. But can we do it? Can Hill looks over the middle and it's go oh, it's caught but it's short of the first high throw over there to Kenny Stills I think if he would have threw it in stride maybe he would have had enough time to go sh- turn up field and get the first down but obviously that didn't happen so now first play of their drive for the San Diego Chargers they're at the four yard line after a very good punt but look at the Chargers offensive line just completely dominate as Melvin Gordon has just been unbelievably good this game He's got over 200 yards rushing on just 12 carries. That is unheard of. That's unprecedented. That's unfathomable. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of make big words to make myself sound smart. But anyway, here is Phillip Rivers throwing that across the field and across his body and across the line of scrimmage. And that is a illegal forward pass. Loss of down. Five-yard penalty. And now the Chargers just kind of put themselves in a hole. And, and unbelievably out of field goal range. So we do get the ball back, 21-17. Lamar Miller gets the first down by just a hair, but we'll take it. He's got 14 carries for 46 yards. Hasn't Doesn't have the greatest game today, uh, but he has been pretty effective all year. Maybe he's just getting a little tired. So that could be the case right there. So we might just have to go to the pass game. As you see right there, we overthrow Greg Jennings. Good defense by the Chargers. They've been play, playing pretty good defense all day long. Uh, as Ryan Tannehill has only gotten a couple touchdown passes, and the run game has been pretty much running into a brick wall all game long. As you see, Melvin Gordon just continuing to have a great game. He's breaking tackles now. as Like I said, 12 carries and over 200 yards so far. So that's just... Whew, you can't stop this guy. So here is Phillip Rivers once again looking over the middle, and it's caught on a third down play. What a... That, that was just a tight window. Nice throw by Phillip Rivers. And uh, that was Keenan Allen on the catch. And now Melvin Gordon again get with the carry. And gets the first down. Melvin Gordon, man. Oh, my God. We cannot stop him. Oy, what, we, what can we do to stop Melvin Gordon? We can't stop him. So here is Phillip Rivers again looking underneath. It's caught by Danny Woodhead. Man, for as short as he is, he is a really good football player. He wasn't really well known in his career until he got into New England. But, you know, he kind of shined there. and He's kind of shined everywhere else he's played. He's been kind of like the... The Darren Sproles, as you will. He's kind of been like that, that backup guy who's like kind of like, okay, look out for that backup because he's still really good. But you see Melvin Gordon again getting in the end zone. It's now 28-17. And we're in a bit of a tough spot because now we're down by 11 with five minutes to go. And we need to score fast in order to try and get ourselves back in the game because obviously we haven't stopped the run all day long. And if they get the ball back, what do you think they're going to do? Third down and 10 here for the Dolphins. Here is Tannehill looks taken down for the sack, and now it's fourth and 17. At least we score, try and make it a one possession game. That's at least the the good news. The bad news is the Chargers get the ball back with under four to go. We still have all three timeouts. That's another plus uh, compared to their two. I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. But you see right here, third down and two here for the Chargers. They're winding down the clock. It's now under three to go. As you see, Melvin Gordon trying to take that one back up the middle, but he doesn't get the first down. As you see, Dalmas makes the play. And now we get the ball back here with under two minutes to go here. We're down for a touchdown. So that's a pretty big right there. You see Lamar Miller on the screen pass. Has room to run. Makes a couple of guys miss. And he takes it down to the 27-yard line. But hold on, there is a flag. 
And look at this, guys. You're not going to believe this. I thought it was a holding on us, but it's a holding on them. So we declined the penalty, decided to move up to the 27-yard line in their territory, obviously. That's, so that was obviously what I wanted to see right there. So you see right here Jarvis Landry taking that down to the 6, pick up of 21, and we are just a few yards away from possibly having a chance to tie up this game. That's Devontae Parker actually on the catch. So right there, we have a chance to tie – Try and tie the game. So Tannehill looks. Kenny Stills. Touchdown, Miami Dolphins. And now we got to go for two. But can we get the two-point conversion? I don't know. The two-point conversion, it's, anything can happen on a two-point conversion. Trust me. Just ask, you know, Tennessee. But anyway, two-point conversion. Actually, we make this look fairly simple as Kenny Stills over the middle again. Two-point conversion, good. Tie game at 28. We're going to overtime. So now in OT. 616 left, third and five for the Chargers. They got a single back formation, three wide receivers on the play. Here is Phillip Rivers, steps back, has plenty of time, but taken down for the sack. And now the Dolphins have a chance to score. Field goal wins the game, guys. Remember new overtime rules? The, the first possession, if it's a touchdown, game over. But if they get a field goal, we get a chance. But if they don't score, we get a field goal, it's game over. But we seem to not have any hands on that third down play from Jordan Cameron. He had the ball in his possession for a split second as Flowers comes up and deflects the ball out of his hands. But the very next offensive play for the Chargers is the knife that kind of killed us. So you see right here, uh, Phillip Rivers uh, gets it off on like a little dinky little pass and it's going to cost us the game. Uh Obviously, Melvin Gordon, <laughs> just one player of the game. Obviously, he, he was lights out today. I really could not do anything to stop him. Um, but anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's content, make sure you guys drop a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more content. I promise you guys, I'm not going anywhere, anywhere anytime soon. And I'm sorry about the little hiatus, but I had to get stuff done. Um, there will be another video soon. There might be even a stream soon for the Cubs franchise. And, um, yeah, very beginning. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like the video, all this crazy stuff that's all amazing. You guys have been amazing as always. My name is Sim with Vengeance. I'm out. Peace.